We just got a brand new leak that suggests Gen 9 is not over, that there may be another DLC or maybe it's the release or announcement of the Gen 5 remake or some type of Gen 5 related game. So if you go over to X or Twitter and check out Centro Leaks, he tweeted out, well, that was it for Scarlet and Violet and Paldea. It's done. Final thoughts, because we just got like the epilogue and stuff with the uh, new mythical Pokemon, which was really cool. That was awesome. So it was kind of like a third DLC in a way. Some extra gameplay within Scarlet and Violet, which is so great. I'm so glad that we've had so much in Scarlet and Violet, like so much new stuff, so much more storyline. And it, it's just really cool that we were able to go back to Scarlet and Violet three different times. The first DLC, the second part of the DLC, and then with the epilogue that just came out. And I remember a leak about two months ago or so, which I believe was from Riddler Q, which is, I think, the most reliable leaker at the moment. And he claimed that there will be four parts to the DLC or four DLC parts, but I can't find that tweet anymore. I looked. I, I can't find it, but I remember seeing it. I remember talking about it like a few times in the past. So I don't know if this tweet from Central Leaks means we're actually getting a fourth part to the DLC because I think you could kind of count the mythical event as the third part. But then at the same time, I don't really think that's accurate or I don't think that's true because Central Leaks said that's it for Scarlet and Violet and Paldea. But what I think Central Leaks most likely means from this tweet is that Generation 5 remakes or some type of Generation 5 related game is going to be announced next month because next month is February. That's when the Pokemon Day or Pokemon Presents is going to come out and we're going to get an announcement of the next Pokemon game. Leakers said that the next Pokemon game is going to be announced in February or the next Pokemon Day or Presents, whatever you want to call it. Everyone calls it something different, so I just try to say everything at this point. But And the game that we're most likely going to get is a Gen 5 related game or maybe even a johto gen 2 game a lot of people are suggesting that too but basically when there's like a remake or something that's released people classify it as whatever the modern day generation is like omega ruby alpha sapphire was classified as a generation 6 game alongside x and y even though omega ruby and alpha sapphire is it's generation 3 but just because it was released like after x and y and everything it's classified as a gen 6 game if that makes sense so with that being said, a Generation 5 remake or Let's Go or Legends game, whatever it may possibly be, will be classified as a Generation 9 game, even though it's Generation 5, technically, if that makes sense. I know it's confusing. It's a weird concept. It's a weird thing, but it it's it makes sense if you really think about it. Another quick example, Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of the Sky. Um, is a generation 4 game, you know what I mean? So basically every single game that comes out before generation 10 After generation 9 is gonna be a gen 9 classified game I'm trying to just explain this the best I can because I know it's confusing I know it's confusing to say that but that's just how it is So by central leaks claiming see y'all next month for the next adventure I just really think that means the next game that's gonna be announced is just classified as a gen 9 game So I think this tweet rather than being a extra DLC, like a DLC part four for Scarlet and Violet. I think this is more so, hey, we're getting a new Pokemon game announced next month. There was gonna be more leaks for that Pokemon game coming out soon because they'll announce the game next month and most likely release it around October, November-ish, later on in this year, because that's when Pokemon games are typically released. Besides Legends Arceus, that was, that was a unique, situation where it was released in January, I believe, of 2022, which is kind of surprising that like, they released that game like right after Christmas, because I'm pretty sure they try to release their games before Christmas time, so they get more sales and everything. It just makes sense. So yeah, we're probably going to get a new Pokemon game released around November-ish, and then it's going to be announced next month. And who knows, we might get two Pokemon games announced next month, because, because a lot of people claim it's either Generation 2, some type of Generation 2 game, or a Generation 5 game. Like, there's nothing else that would make any sense besides Gen 2 or Gen 5, just because I'm pretty sure it's been the longest amount of time since we've gone back to Generation 2, and Generation 5 remakes are the next in line. I don't really know what to think. I know I've said in the past I don't think we're gonna get Generation 5 remakes yet, I don't know. My my new theory is that we're probably going to get a Generation 5 game this year, I hope. And then next year, they're going to release the Nintendo Switch 2 in 2025. 
and then the following year 2026 we're going to get generation 10 because i'm pretty sure they never release like a new generation the same year they release a new console i'm pretty sure usually when they release a new console i i believe we get like some sort of remake i might be wrong on that I have to do my research. I'm just going off of my head right there. But I really believe that we're going to get Generation 10 in 2026, and we're going to get the new console in 2025, and then this year, 2024, we're probably going to get a Generation 5 game, and then the Pokemon game for 2025 may be a Generation 2 game. Maybe like a Generation 2 Let's Go game that's hopefully better than Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I was actually planning on making a totally different video today and then I actually just quickly saw this tweet like randomly. I was going to make a video about a different topic of a future possible Pokemon game that I kind of just came up with. Just like a random game that they they may do in the future, probably not, but just like a theoretical video. I really enjoyed making videos that are like fake on or you know like theoretical stuff of stuff that could happen. I just find that stuff really interesting. But what I love to see from the comment section or reply section I guess I should say of central leagues is that a lot of people loved scarlet and violet like everyone kind of agrees that it was easy like the main line was the main line game was way too easy but the dlc kind of redeemed that the dlc was pretty tough because higher level better trainers everything about the dlc was great i really loved it and then of course everyone agrees on like the frame rate issue the lag the random glitches and everything but overall, people loved Scarlet and Violet, so like, I think that Pokemon and Game Freak, they're gonna go down a good path with open world games, because they're relatively new to the open world style of video games, and plus the Nintendo Switch is old hardware, Nintendo's always a few years behind on their stuff, so that's probably why Scarlet and Violet are so laggy. Hopefully the next open world Pokemon game redeems itself like drastically. Like no lag, better graphics, well definitely will be better graphics with the next Switch console. I'm pretty sure it's the Switch 2, like I'm pretty sure it's going to be a straight up successor to the Switch. It's not going to be an entire brand new console. I don't really, I haven't covered content about like new console leaks in a while just because I feel like I don't perform as well as like regular Pokemon videos, but I maybe I'll do a video about the Switch 2 leaks soon. Because I'm pretty sure the newest leak is that it might be backwards compatible, which would be amazing. That would be great. I really hope it's a backwards compatible console. But I'm really interested to see what Pokemon, Game Freak, Nintendo, I'm really, really interested to see what they're going to announce in February for the next Pokemon game. I hope it's an open world style game again. I, I'm really, really enjoying open world style games. It took me a few years to actually warm up to open world. I didn't really like open world games at all at first, but dang, I've really, really been enjoying them the last like two years. So I hope we get another open world game and I hope it's, I hope it also offers something new. I feel like the last few Pokemon games have just all been so different. They've all offered something totally brand new, which is, is great. I love that diversity. They've been really trying so many different things. Like Legend Arceus was a whole new concept. Scarlet and Violet, whole new concept. Sword and Shield whole new concept everything is brand new with these new pokemon games not saying that they're they weren't in the past but i'm saying like they're really experimental right now so i'm just really really excited to see what they're gonna bring up soon and i'm excited to see when the switch 2 console comes out because the switch 2 console defines when generation 10 is coming out i really don't think they're gonna announce generation 10 or bring out generation 10 on the regular switch console it just doesn't make sense to me because it's a brand new generation and it's generation 10 that's huge so that's going to bring a ton of revenue and ton of sales to the company so they're most likely going to want to be really strategic with this and probably bring it on the next console so the next console sells really well because people are going to really want to play generation 10 and they're going to need the next console to play it if it's on the next console so we're definitely still a way a little bit of ways away from generation 10 but let me know what you guys think about everything pokemon related right now there's been so much going on the last like four months i feel like just so many leaks so many different theories and stuff going on which is so awesome i love to see it the the, the community is exploding i mean not saying that it ever it never was but i feel like it's just been on fire recently so hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know your comments let me know your thoughts about the next Pokemon game, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.